Hi, I'm Henry Nguyen, and I am with our General Superior, Father Carlos Luis. Hi, Henry. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for being here with us. He is here at Sacred Heart Seminary and School of Theology for our day home lecture. Okay, yeah, it's me who say thank you for inviting me to this important time of the year, the academical year, to share with you the, the home lecture is, is a privilege. Thanks for that. Yes, and thank you so much for taking the time to be with us and to answer a few questions that we have. And our first question is for this year's day home lecture. The theme is Moved by Your Word. So how was this theme chosen? Well, I, I was thinking, what can I offer to others? And during this, the past years, now especially as Superior General, uh, my, my world is full of words. Words written, or written words, uh, words that I have to hear, words I have to say, you know. The words have got special importance in my, in my life. And, of course, the, the Word of God, that is the main one. So all my life, all my service, it turns around the world. Please give an example how the Dehonians can live moved by your word. Well, my, by my personal word, I guess, I guess I can only offer some lectures during the, the year and uh, in the personal meeting when we have a personal talk, when I visit communities, I, I meet our CJs. And I have seen that it really, our people is, is, is moved by the word. So that means that we are good or we try to do our best for listening, uh, to, 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 to be attentive to what is coming around, what is coming from, from God, and what is coming in our society, in our, in our church. So I think the audience like hearing, like to, to, put, to pay attention to the word. And that means that listening Carefully, uh, many things have been done at the personal level. People have improved their way of living, religious life. Communities have going have gone deeper in developing some special missions because they were listening carefully what was going around, and then they try to answer to in their best way. Thank you so much for answering that. And I really think that connects us to Father Dehon because as a student in formation, I was always given this image of Father Dehon with um, the Bible in one hand and the script and the newspaper in another hand. And that really connects us with the world, don't you think? Right, really. Our founder was a man of your word. Firstly, because he he, the, the Word of God had always a very important place in his daily life. You know? He was uh, always trying to contemplate the Word, to reflect, to meditate it, and even because he, he wrote a lot, many words around the Founder, and in his own words, the Word of God is always present. So, uh, for the Hornians, the, the Word is always there. Yeah? And Father Founder tried always to find a word for his uh, conference, for his times, for uh, the church where he tried to serve, to do his best. So uh, the word was a wonderful tool in the Han's life. Thank you. And speaking of our Father Dehon, our founder, you are his successor. And being our general superior who is currently in the last um, year of your first term, um, what are priorities do you think that your administration have been concentrating on? Well, uh, our priority in the very beginning is to discover ourselves of Jesus' followers. I mean, it's nothing new. But we emphasize a lot one of our constitution, oh, one of our texts in, in our constitutions uh, his way is our way. Yeah, just to remember that. I think that's why I say it's nothing new. It's, it's always, it's, it was always written there. But uh, to, to keep in mind that, I think, is the best way to help ourselves to renew our religious life, to renew our commitment with the gospel, to renew our commitment with our charisma. Yeah? 
That's why we try to, to insist that in all the fields where we're involved of congregation, educational level, formation, apostolates in many different ways, but to, to become more disciples, yeah? to, to take more seriously uh, that we were called for being that, disciples. His way is our way. I think that is such a great message, especially it has helped me as being the vocation director for the U.S. province of the Priest of the Sacred Heart. That is something that I've asked young men to discern as well. And that is a great message. And my last question is, what are some of the challenges that you have faced with our um, general administration during this um, last few years? Well, one of the challenges is always to, to meet different cultures, to meet uh, our people working in so many different countries, uh, not only because languages or weather, but just the, the mind, you know, how each one, each one of us work in different uh, places uh, according to their own traditions, according to their way of thinking, their way of living, and to trying to find out what is common for us. No, this was very challenging. But it was nice because it's an enrichment to see that it's not only one way of being a CJ, that it's not only one way of being a disciple. Yeah, there are many wonderful ways. Yeah? And to, to appreciate that, is, it was a challenge always. Yeah? And once again, thank you so much, Father Carlos Luis, for sitting down um, with me during this moment to talk a little about what we will be hearing from the day home lecture as well as the current stance of our general administration. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>